Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. If you're looking to take a not-so-typical family day trip, just across the George Washington Bridge, there's an artistic boom in Boonton that's howling good fun. Welcome to Boot in New Jersey. Uh, what we have today is uh, called Dog Days. Basically, we have 34 sculptures painted by 34 individual artists. They're out on the streets till Labor Day weekend, and it's a fundraiser for the Mount Pleasant Animal Shelter. It's, so it's a great time to come on down to town, see some of the art galleries, take a look at the dogs. It's all free, and enjoy the day. Through the arts, we can raise money and help animals in need. Um, it's just a good way to bring the community together and to show off this great town that we have and bring people out. What is it about this community that, that artists flock to it? I think there's a great history here um, uh, of the arts. There was a, a large antiques community um, throughout Putin's history um, and it's kind of a scene of renaissance. Thank you all very much for joining us outside on the sidewalk here on Main Street, Putin. It started off with one gallery and then the art and the music and musicians started coming here too. So that's been mm -hmm. the last 10 to 20 years. Yeah. So we have a nice diverse population of other neighboring businesses, uh, gourmet cakes, um, interior design services, uh, high-end boutiques too. So we have a little bit of everything on the, on, on the art side as well. Yeah. So you're one of the designers too. I am, yeah. Well, he's... Um the Dog of the Dead, so he's uh, Mexican folk art inspired from the Day of the Dead. And John, do you have a dog? Uh, actually, I do have a dog. It's uh, further down the street. It's inspired by Vasily Kandinsky, which is one of the styles I like painting. And it's called Circus Dog. It's a poodle. And it's a bunch of concentric circles and colors. Happy looking dog. I had a chance to photograph the dogs last year as well as this year, you know, kind of took it upon myself to kind of make sure that we captured everything. And, and this year's, I mean, last year's pack was amazing. This year's pack has gone above and beyond. A lot more embellishment this year. Um, you know, not just painting. And, and the ones that are just painted have gone to a level, you know, that far exceeded what went on last year. This is my second dog. Last year's dog was called Signs of Bootin' that was covered with street signs from all over town. So this year I did something a little bit different, a little bit more minimal. So basically, Buddy is a chimera between a dog and a stegosaurus, and he is called Dino Mutt. Yeah, it is a good thing for exposure, but uh, I think more so for dogs. I, you know, part of this was the, a third of the proceeds go to an animal shelter, which I think is a great idea, and then a part of that also then goes to downtown beautification of Booton, which you know is a great town. It's an up and coming town, thriving. Um, I think it's just a great area. And obviously with the new galleries, and uh, it's just a great, great place to be. Mount Pleasant Animal Shelter is located in East Hanover, New Jersey, and we are a no-kill, non-profit animal shelter that will save about 1,200 animals this year. Well, our shelter is a private shelter, which means we have no government contracts or anything like that, so we are 100% uh, dependent on donations from the public to do our work. And what the money from this event will most probably fund is our medical fund, so that we can go above and beyond and give animals care that normal shelters would not be able to provide. Dog Days is great because we have a big arts community here and the Dog Days event really brings people from all over the state and even New York to come and see our town, to see the dog sculptures that are on display all summer long. It's a lot of fun, it's great for families, everybody has a great time with it. Love it here, have a nice old house, it's a charming town. I used to come here 20 years ago and shop at all the antique stores. And uh, when I was looking to buy a house, I said, oh, I want something with character. So here we are. Just the fact that it's something that brings the community together, Main Street together, brings people from outside together. And anytime you can bring somebody from the outside in and they take a look at Bonton Main Street, they're coming back. Hey, everybody, come to Bootin USA. It's the only one in all of America. Just Google it.